that illusory dream. <gasps> how you enjoy and how do you suffer? I remember one night I dreamt I got married. <laughs> because in an ashram nearby, all these hotels are there. So all this band Baja Bharat comes. So I must have slept. Thinking how nice celebration, dancing and all that and all that and all that. God knows from where that thought came. Yeah. Only once a while I get nightmares. <laughs> and that nightmare was that I got married. And it was a lot of fun because everybody was dancing, singing, there was a lot of food, etc, etc, etc. And such a pretty wife, you know, so nice. Hmm? Before in before you know marriage, before engagement, Chandramukhi, like the moon, pleasant. After engagement, Surya Mukhi, no brilliant, smiling, no doubt, but and after marriage, married people tell Jwala Mukhi, you know, volcano. <laughs> See, he's being beaten up already. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened to me. No? You have these chunu munus and all that. And then finally she pulls all the blanket for the chunu munus and herself. And you are lying there freezing in the cold. And then you try to pull the blanket. She kicks you out from the bed. And I fell down from the bed and woke up. And somebody said, how did you fall down from the bed? I said, my wife kicked me. <laughs> they reminded me, Swamiji, you are not married, nor were you ever married, nor are you going to get married. So which wife kicked you? Yeah. The dream wife can kick you and you can feel it as real and fall down. There was a youngster there. Hmm? His parents had sent me, them to me to tell them not to fall in love at this age. Not to become brahmacharis, hmm? but not to fall in love at this age. So, they said, so he said, Swamiji, why are you dreaming about getting married? Why don't you get married? <laughs> I said, if dream wife can do this, <laughs> I said, you take lessons, <laughs> become a brahmachari. <laughs> and this Maya, how she deludes, being nothing, creates everything. From the one, creates the many. With nothing, creates everything. And therefore, this Maya is unique. And this Maya covers the truth, covers you from yourself and then plays with you like the cat plays with the mouse. And therefore, all the saints and sages who have become or have noticed that how does this Maya play? And from where, where, how, how she entraps you, encages you, yeah. and you find no escape. And therefore, to make us aware of our ignorance, our projections, the great saints have pointed out that there is this big cheat, yeah. a great deception going on. Yeah. And this Maya is Tagini, she's a cheat. She's a thief. 
And nowadays, if you see all movies, yeah, he to gets caught, but she never gets caught. That's why even many people say, why Maya is called as a she? There are many reasons. Yeah, people may fight who is the boss, but everybody knows who she is. And even if you are told to be aware, who is so enchanting hmm, that chants your mind? Hmm? Therefore, hmm, Kabir Das Ji says, Maya Mahathagani Hamajani. Yeah. 
of the night in the veil of ignorance with so many overtones undertones middle tones this maya haunts us this for the tune also hmm? maya mahathagni hum jaane Kabir Das Ji says that this Maya is Mahathagni. There is no thief, no deceit, no sabotage like this Maya. She steals away ourselves from ourselves. She steals away our peace. She steals away the wealth of our knowledge. Maya Mahatagni ham jani. Tiraguna fasliye kar dole. You know, beautiful woman. She is constantly moving around. Dole moves around. And in her hand, hmm, she carries that noose hmm, made up of the three gunas, the three knots. Yeah. You know the noose that you... Hmm, yeah. Once, that knot is there on that rope. Yeah. Rope, straight rope you can take out, that which is a noose that strangles, you know. And yet, Dole, she swings around. And Bole Madhurbani sweetly talks to you, entices you to come into the noose of pleasures, of desires, of vastness. And you remain ever trapped in that news. Asha Pasha. Yeah. Angam Galitam Palitam Mundam Dashanabhinam Chatam Tundam Vriddho Yati Grihitva Dandam Tadapina Munchati Asha Pasham. This news of hopes, expectations, desires. And as Gurudev says in the introduction of the Bhagavad Gita, <coughs> Where our expectations are false, disappointment is natural. Where there is moha, there will be shoka, sorrow. Yeah. And how sweetly everything, like the golden deer, appears attractive to us from the distance. Yeah. So, bole madhur bani. And we suffer in this world, yet we remain attached and attracted to this world. We leave something and it goes and, and we go and catch something else. So she is constantly making us dance with her, suffocating us and still Unique is the pleasures that we get. In Mahabharata, it is said the greatest wonder is, and therefore she is wonderful. Yeah. She is full of wonder. That a man being chased by a pack of wolves or wild dogs falls into a well has got just one tree branch which is breaking 
There are scorpions and snakes below. Death is awaiting him. And there, from the beehive, yeah, while bitten by the bees, struggles to catch that one drop of honey. Bole Madhur Bani. And if you try to escape, where can you escape from? Yeah. And where is she not? Where is a snare not? Who is spared from her? Hmm? He goes to say, Keshava ke kamla hui baiti. Kesha, Vishnu, Kamala, Lakshmi. Keshava ke Kamala hui baiti. Shiva ke bhavan bhavani. Kabir Das Ji says, I have never studied, I have not taken a paper or a pen. Hmm? But look at his poetry, you know. Shiva ke bhavan bhavani. And she was also called as bhava. Is. Bhava ke bhavan bhavani. See, the alliterations. Anyway, that's just poetry. Panda ke murati hui baiti. Panda means one who is learned. Who has learned about the infinite. Such a person, really speaking, is called as a pandit. Whose knowledge is vast. Whose knowledge is infinite. But she becomes the murti. She becomes the form for him. And tirath me, in tirath, a place which is purifying, there she stays as water for people to have bath in. Tirath me bhai pani. So a seeker who has realized that I am suffering from this imagination, yeah, attachments, delusions, kama, krodh, lobe, moha, ahankar, with all this and that krodh, the fire, the frustration, the agony that I am going through and wants to go and quench that agony, but wherever in this world he or she goes, finds that she is sitting there only. <laughs> yeah? Smiling away, beautiful, enchanting in different ways to trap you. So, Tirath me bhai pani. That's why she is called as Shakti. That power behind all powers, that inscrutable power that you cannot easily overcome. Even yogis who are trying to control their mind, master that mind, yogi ni hoi baithi. There also she comes as yogini and sits. and enchants the mind of yogis. Raja, who is the ruler, conquered many territories and is ruling over everybody. But who is ruling in his house? Raja's house is Rani. Kao's house is Rani. Kao's house is Rani. For someone, she sits as diamond. Yeah. Yeah. For those who come from Hong Kong, Dubai, yeah. she is sitting as diamond. And Kahu ke Kodi Kani. And from 
people in India, it is discontinued coins and notes. <laughs> she fascinates, agitates and <laughs> disturbs. So she is there in the house of the rich. She is there in the house of the poor also. So where is it she not? Hmm? You think that in poverty you are going to find her? By giving up everything. Hmm? There she will be sitting as hunger and thirst to drive you mad. Yeah. You will find her in riches. There also she will turn you mad hmm? with greed, with passion hmm? and family members wanting to kill you or waiting for your insurance. Hmm? <laughs> Where is it that she is not? In the house of the rulers, she rules. And who rules the kings? In the court, the king sits as an emperor, having conquered everybody and brought people under his control and commanding even mighty warriors. But at home, the Srit Maharaj also is a slave to whom? Gives in to whom? Gets enchanted and entrapped by whom? But the Rani of the king is not just a woman. Yeah. Once you have conquered the entire world, she comes home as pride, as, ar as arrogance, as a feeling of being invincible. And then destroys. Yeah. So, in so many ways, she comes. Yeah. In the Creator, yeah. Brahma ke Brahmani. Yeah. For Brahma, she is Saraswati. Brahmani. Bhagat ke bhagatini hui baiti. For a devotee, she is sitting as bhaktini, as devotion. Or you can see it, you know, these bhaktas have got plenty of bhaktinis. And then see, with so many psychophines, what happened to the bhaktas also? They think that they are God. So many different ways you can see this. We will go contemplating on it in different ways. Kahe kabir suno ho santo e sab akhat kahani. The story hmm, is endless. Akata also means cannot be spoken about, cannot be fathomed. Inexplicable is this Maya. That's why I explained to you all this hmm, philosophically so that you can understand all this, what it means. Now, especially hmm, the youth who have just now come from the global youth camp. Remember Ma, Ra, Sri Ram Gita, hmm? where Lakshman asks Bhagwan, yeah, what is this Maya? And Bhagwan Ramchandra ji explains, and all this you can see here. Hmm? He says, Me or more torte Maya. So, there is an external and internal division created by Maya. And this external internal relationship that we create, so there seems to be an external projected world and an inner projected world.
in the internal projected world this body is me me and that is tu that is you and anything that i keep for myself is mine and some things are yours mine is more precious yours you take care the me or a more torte maya this ego and the sense of possession is maya and this maya has kept everybody in her noose this ego with its pride and its arrogance its hypocrisies and pretendants its insecurities and its false expectations its likes its dislikes its possessions its attractions and its repulsions and with that the mind gets completely entangled when this jiva with this mind just gets into a rickmarole of excitements of sorrows etc and this is the maya that keeps you constantly entrapped then he goes to see then what is external this world he says go go char jahan lagi man jaye so sab maya jane ubai wherever your senses and your mind can think or reach from hell to heaven even up till brahma lok the world of brahma there also brahmani is sitting hmm? maya is there wherever wherever your senses and your mind can go so sab maya jane hu bhai however he says this maya that creates beda that creates all these differences of inside outside i and mine you and yours and who is spread as everything that you can experience yad drishyam tad maya that ever that is seen is maya only whatever you see with your senses is only your perception one sees it differently other sees it differently it's our perception that's why einstein calls it as relate that's why the rishis call it as mithya relative it's seen but not as it is and each one sees it differently and she takes different hues different colors different ropes different ways by which we get entrapped and therefore he says that there are even in maya there are two types of maya one is vidya maya other is avidya maya one is that maya which projects this world according to the will of the totality will of the totality means our collective desires and there is this other avidya maya that ignorance that lies within us that lies within us and that maya is due to our ignorance and our projection this hari prerit maya this creation which is created by the power of the lord 
really speaking, it is also a projection, but it doesn't trouble you. The trees, the mountains, yeah. in fact, it inspires to think that whose creation is so beautiful, jiski rachna itni sundar, wo kitna sundar hoga. But in this world, yeah, a part of this world, this body, I take as me and I claim certain things as mine and this is the maya that troubles us. So, when it is said, Keshav ke kamala hoi baiti, that all pervading Keshav Vishnu, Keshav means one who is the illuminator, one who from whom rays of knowledge is manifesting, there she sits as Kamala sitting on the many petaled lotus, the world of creation. She sits as Kamala. Many, many significance we can see there, but he himself kind of indicates it. If you go on it, he says, Akata Kahani, you can go endlessly speaking about Maya because she doesn't have a beginning, she doesn't, hmm? you can't see her limits. But one thing is, she's got an end. How? You said that you can't see her end everywhere she spread. Hmm? Till the end of universe, which doesn't have an end. So, Keshava ke Kamala hoi baiti. With the sustainer, she stays as the power of sustenance. And that is called as Dharma. And for that Dharma, Bhagwan has to take up form, go through all difficulties to protect everybody, just like parents to protect. So, this is why Bhagwan ko bhi wo utarti hai. Avtar karati hai. That way also you can see it. But the other thing is that you run to the Lord Vishnu, yeah, the sustainer, the protector to protect you. But besides him, she is sitting as Lakshmi. Do you see Vishnu? Do you see Jagat or Jagat Pate? So, when you go to even pray to Vishnu, hmm, there she is sitting as Lakshmi. Hmm. If you take the role of the sustainer of your family as a father or a mother, yeah, she creates the agitations of earning wealth. <laughs> Look at it in all these manners. Hmm. Even if you take up the responsibility of a sustainer of the family, then your attention is on who? Maya. <laughs> ke shav ke kamla hoi baiti. Shiv ke bhavan bhavani. You go to the destroyer, that powerful Shiva, to destroy this ego and to destroy this ego, you want the strength, you want that vairagya and when you get that vairagya, she is sitting as pride of renunciation beside Shivji. <laughs> You go to Shivji, but your attention is only on the attractive Bhavani. Is it not? The Shiva ke Bhavana Bhavani. 
पंडा के मूर्ति हो ही बैठी दैट फॉर वन हु हैज गॉट द नॉलेज ऑफ द वेद ऑफ द वास्टनेस ऑफ नॉलेज देर गेट अटैच टू द मीन्स द फॉर्म द मूर्ति and tirath to purify you keep going to the waters to purify everywhere whether it is uh, uh, what to say uh, ganga whether it is uh, amritsar whether it is you know holy water everybody goes to have bath thinking but the body can only can be purified by water and everybody goes and has baths after baths after baths after baths and get entangled in the waters <laughs> of creation but not getting purified and that panda that has got the knowledge this murti this maya keeps your mind extrovert and not to meditate and find the answer within it's not that murti puja is you know condemned and therefore even the upanishads have to says nedam yadidam upasate yeah because upasana is also taking the limited and seeing the unlimited in it now all this i'm saying whatever you understand is fine don't worry जोगी के जोगिनी हुई बैठी योगीज एज दे वन इज योगिनी मीन दैट समटाइम्स दैट अदर योगिनीज हु कैन टेम्प्ट बट दैट्स नॉट द लिमिटेड मीनिंग दैट वी हैव टू टेक बिकॉज दीज योगिनीज आर देयर टू हेल्प द योगीज टू अरेंज थिंग्स एंड ऑल दैट बट सम पीपल टेक इट दैट वे योगिनीज दैट आर टोल्ड अबाउट on which the yogis meditate they are the various powers the various siddhis and she appears as these mighty powers and siddhis of the yogis and the yogis get entrapped in that only raja ke ghar rani that's how i explain no काहो के हीरा हो बैठी सम पीपल थिंक दैट इफ आई गेट वेल्थ आई विल बी फ्री हीरा ऑल्सो मीन्स वर्च्यूज सो दो आर वर्च्यूज दे बिकम प्राउड ऑफ देर वर्च्यूज एंड दे गेट एंट्रैप्ट इन देर वर्च्यूज ओनली सी इज इट नॉट इनफ टू बी गुड and be good because i am only good and everybody else is bad me or more torte maya kahu ke kodi kani you know poverty has got its own agonies also but in kodi kani means kodi means the old times it was not coins they would trade with shells and a broken shell is worth nothing so if you can take the example of the diamond that strong illustrious beautiful diamond and a broken yeah so when you have got virtues knowledge etc traps you with pride arrogance attachments and when you are in poverty or helpless or as you would say broken down then with depression she catches you see this beautiful you know if you can just go on thinking go on thinking hmm? she catches you hmm? she entraps you yeah. somewhere if you hmm, are so beautiful radiant like the diamond then kodi kani means leprous hmm? and one eyed cock eyed <laughs> whichever way hmm? you are trapped hmm? 
एंड भक्त के भक्तिनी हुई बैठी इट्स नॉट दैट दो सर्व द भक्त बट हाउ ऑफ एन यू विल हियर दिस फ्रॉम द भक्त यू नो वॉट I don't want to yeah. know God and become one with God. I just want devotion to God to get attached to the devotion. Bhakti ni hoy baithi. Brahma ke Brahmani, Brahma Creator. Creator has all knowledge. You just get attached to the knowledge. not to that which the knowledge is revealing to you therefore in the bhagavad gita very beautifully it's very clearly explained then you can very understand very easily what this is yeah that this this maya is trigunatmika sattva rajas and tamas and bhagwan says all three bind tamas to sleep ignorance indolence rajas to activity pleasures etc sattva to knowledge and happiness all three bind but remain in sattva also knowledge binds your seeking also binds and therefore in the culmination of these talks the culmination of devotion when you will hear then you will understand bhakt ke bhaktini yeah in short those who follow the different different paths even the religious paths or the spiritual path the means is provided by maya the tan matras tantra is provided by maya yeah and that satvik maya is supposed to indicate to you because this maya only is traps you this maya only can liberate you and therefore in temples we worship this satvik maya this daivi maya this vidya maya as durga lakshmi saraswati as power strength as virtues lakshmi as knowledge saraswati this is satvik maya but mind you these are all faculties of the mind and therefore it is in the mind now this is a very very subtle that's why it is said that only guru can make us understand gurudev is to make us understand all this therefore some people take very limited that even keshav is entrapped by maya But that's why in the Puranas you see that Lakshmi also hmm, makes sure that where you know to see that these devotees hmm, will keep Narayana or will keep her. And there's a story I remember that you know once husband and wife a little bit of this thing who is. she said nobody is your bhakt <laughs> yeah. when narayan goes there they receive narayan but when lakshmi comes they leave narayan and they go <laughs> they'll call sadhus in their house but some rich person comes immediately they'll go to attend that person so just come so just come so much wait minister has come are so many different ways hmm?